Hi, and welcome to One Cool Thing. I'm Alex Colon, and I'm here with Angela Moscaratolo. And today we're going to be talking about one of the cool products that we're reviewing here at PC Mag. Today's product is the Peloton Guide. Now, you might be looking at Angela and wondering why she's not on a treadmill or a bike or something else that you might associate with Peloton. And that's because the Peloton Guide is not um, a big piece of equipment. It's actually a tiny little camera. Uh, it's, it's right there on your TV stand behind you. Um, it starts at $295 and it basically tracks you as you're working out um, and it puts you on the screen and encourages you to move more. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So Angela, do you want to just start by giving us an overview of what the Peloton Guide is? Yes. So you can see it. It's a little pill-shaped device right beneath the TV on my TV stand. It's a camera that connects with your TV and it allows you to play a Peloton uh, strength training workouts or actually the whole Peloton library uh, on your TV. And it comes with the remote. And then what it does is basically it, um, it, it, it displays you on the screen as you're working out next to the trainer's video. And then it also does basic movement tracking so it's tracking to see if you're doing uh, the movements for the correct amount of time. And then it'll give you credit for each movement that you complete. And then at the end, it will give you a percentage score. So anything above 80% will get you a badge, so an achievement badge. So it sort of um, gamifies uh, the strength training experience and makes it a lot of fun. So I mentioned that it costs $295 and that cost is essentially just the camera. Um, now you also need to use it with a Peloton all access membership and that's going to be an additional $39 a month. That's the same membership that you would use if you're using a Peloton bike or a Peloton tread. Um, do you want to talk a little bit more about the membership and also any accessories that you might need? Yeah, so um, there are some limitations with um, the, the movement tracking feature, which is one of the um, coolest features of it. In addition to the side-by-side -side video, the movement tracking is the big thing. And that's only available on the strength training classes and not even all of the strength training classes in Peloton's library just um, certain classes that they're producing now um, and going forward. But uh, you will need, um, it works with any brand of weights, which is nice. Some of the other uh, strength training equipment that we've tested, um, it requires special weights, um, such as the um, Tempo um, Move, which is a competitor to the Peloton Guide. And I have it also set up here. Um, we have reviews of both on the site but you can use it with any um, brand of weights, the Peloton Guide. Um, I use it with, um, I have three sets of Peloton weights. I have two um, pounds, I have 10 pounds and 15. But what they'll do during the classes is that they will, um, the teachers will tell you to pick up your medium set of weights or your heavy set of weights. So they're not giving you specific um, weight, uh, you know, suggestions of like how much you should be picking up. Whereas the tempo, that'll tell you, it keeps track of how much weight you're lifting and they'll tell you exactly how much weight to put on your dumbbells. So there are some limitations to a Peloton system, but I do like that it works with any weights. Right. So the tempo move that starts at $500. And now that includes the weights. Um, the Peloton starts at a much lower price, $295. Now that's a great deal if you already have your own weights, but also if you just want to buy some cheap weights to go with it, you could still wind up spending a lot less than you would for the $500 tempo move package. Yes. And then you're also going to want a heart rate monitor. Uh, to go with the Peloton guide so that you can see your heart rate on screen. And then Peloton has a non-competitive metric called Strive Score. And then you'll be able to get your Strive Score. Um, you do not need a Peloton branded heart rate monitor either. Um, you just need um, any Bluetooth enabled heart rate monitor. Uh, one limitation, it does not support the Apple Watch. So um, no, it won't work with Apple Watch, whereas uh, some of Peloton's other equipment does. So people that have an Apple Watch are like, oh, well, why are you going to make me get a new heart rate monitor? Why don't you add Apple Watch integration? Well, hopefully that will come in the future. 
along with some of the other features that uh, some of the other strength training uh, machines uh, offer. Now, do you need to use a heart rate monitor or that's only if you want to see your stride score? Yes, uh, you do not need to, um, but it's, it's better if you do, because then you can see your heart rate on screen. Mm -hmm. I can show you how to use it if you want. <laughs> I think that's probably the best way to illustrate what this product is, because, I mean, we have a great review that goes into detail and it really walks you through all the steps. Uh, but I think just seeing it in action will give you a pretty good idea of how it works. Yeah, so it comes with this remote and do not lose the remote because this is the only way you can drive the experience outside of the classes. Inside the classes, you can use voice control to do things like pause and play. But when just browsing the interface, you need to use the remote. Okay, so you come in here and let's go to the main interface. Another thing that I like about... Um, the Peloton guide on the home screen, it keeps track of your activities that you've done that week. And it has a little body activity chart on the right, um, the blue chart where it'll show you, it, it'll be filled in in uh, various shades of blue indicating which muscles you have already worked that week. Now underneath that, it shows recommended classes. Now you want to, um, for it to have movement tracker, you want to look for the classes that have a little, um, a, a little sweat drop, um, a swirly sweat drop icon. That's the movement tracker. So we can click in. And what I like about it is that like, if it, it, it's really, the recommended classes are really good. Like when I did um, a, a lower body workout, the next day it offered me an upper body workout. And then the next day after that, it offered me a core workout or a body weight workout. So it helps you to work out all of your muscles each week. Um, now, so if we click into the class, you can view the preview screen and you can view the class plan, which shows every single um, movement that is going to be included along with rest breaks. And if you're not sure how to do any of the movements, there's a movement library where you can click into it and watch a video of it and then practice it. So that's kind of a neat thing. So let's go ahead and play, uh, start the class. Before the class, I'm gonna put on my heart rate monitor. I have the Peloton heart rate band. Like I said, you don't need to use the Peloton one, but okay, so I'm gonna put on the heart rate band. Now, what I like about it is you can pause it at any time. You can go back, rewind, mm -hmm. which is important for strength training. You want to make sure that you know how to do the movement before you're going to be lifting because you can really get injured when, uh, you know, you're lifting weights. So let's fast forward to the first move here and we'll show you um, what, it, what, it, what it is. All right. And I'll also point out, um, that right now I'm seeing you on the top half of your TV screen. Yes, and we can change. We can change the view. Let me show you the different views that you can do. So they're stacked. You are on top of the trainer. There's maximized where you are shown bigger than the trainer. There's minimize where you're smaller than the trainer, your video. And then the last one is side by side. I don't like the side by side as much because it takes the metrics off of the screen. Mm -hmm. um, I like the stacked. That's my favorite view. I thought I would like the side by side. If you don't want to see yourself, you can turn it off. You can turn the self mode off so that you're hidden and just the instructor is shown on screen. Um, for me, I like that. Okay. Now, let me show you something else on here. On the right, you'll see a here now list. It just went away because I paused. This is not a leaderboard. This is a misconception or there has been some conflicting information out there that the, that the Peloton Guide has leaderboards. It does not. The Tempo Move, it does have leaderboards. And the Tempo Studio, it does have leaderboards. And all of Peloton's other connected products, they have leaderboards. But this, 
The here now list on the right, it's basically just a class roster. It's showing you other users who are doing that class at that time, but there are no rankings on it. So Peloton's not tracking your reps. Um, it's not tracking how much weight you're lifting. It's not doing any of that. The only thing the movement tracker is doing is verifying that you are moving for the whole amount of time that you're supposed to be moving. And so I'll show you that now. So we're gonna do a chest, we're gonna do chest press. You do chest press from the ground. Three, two, two, one. All right. I'm not gonna get credit because I'm already late. If you see in my video, the top right corner, there's an aqua blue, little swirly thing. That's the movement tracker. And it's filling up right now. We have 17 seconds. I might get it. And so the movement tracker is just showing that you are uh, performing the repetition right. for this entire amount of time? Yes, I got credit for it. I got credit for it. You know why? Because I noticed it gives you a little five second buffer so that if you need to um, take a little break or, you know, if you start a little bit late like I did, you have like about five seconds and you'll still get credit for that move. So uh, it says a one out of one right on the movement tracker there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that we'll we'll just have that be the, the end of the workout. So we'll fast forward to the end of the workout now. Which again, this is nice that you can do this. I'll show you the voice tracking. Okay, Peloton. Pause. And it paused. Okay, Peloton. Play. There it goes. Okay, so it works during the classes. If you are in the middle of something and you don't have the remote in your hand, it's handy. Um, the voice tracking. We'll fast forward to the end of the workout. We'll say I did 100% correct. All right, now it's showing the the screen, the post workout screen shows out of how many movements, there were 21 movements in the class, I did one correctly. So I got 5% for that class. Obviously, I didn't get a badge for that one, but um, if you get 80% um, tracked uh, successfully, or above, you will get a badge. So it sort of like makes you want to, like if you're on a plank and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna die, I can't do this plank. Then you're like, okay, I can hold on. I wanna get credit for that movement. You know, so it's, it's nice, I like it. It's fun, it makes it fun. So let me ask you, uh, I imagine people who are interested in this might also be looking at the Tempo Move, which is another product that you've tested. Uh, what would you say are the main differences between the Peloton Guide and the Tempo Move? So the Tempo Move requires a newer iPhone. You're going you're gonna to use your iPhone and you're going to dock it into the station. And then it's using your um, iPhone's um, 3D camera, um, the depth sensing camera, to track your movements. And it offers more advanced and sophisticated tracking than the Peloton Guide. Like I said, it um, offers leaderboards. So what Pellet, or so what Tempo does, um, the Tempo Move, which is the affordable version, and then the Tempo Studio, which is their flagship machine, um, it tracks your joints to making to make sure that you are performing a move correctly. And if it notices that you are out of alignment, like say if you're doing a squat and your knees go past your toes. It'll tell you, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll give you that correction and say, hey, your knees are going past your toes in the squat. And then on the next round, if you correct that, and if you perform it correctly, it'll put a check mark. Um, so I love that it offers that form correction, more tracking. Peloton Guide, it's, it's more of, um, it's sort of more gamified with your badges. 
And then it also, the main differentiator is it shows the picture of you on the screen next to the trainer, which is really meant to help you check your form yourself. For me, it's more of a vanity play. I think people are going to like to see themselves on the screen. The music on the Peloton, of course, is so good. And you're like dancing in between each set. So it's fun. It's fun to see yourself on screen. Okay, so the tempo... It's a bit more advanced than it's tracking, but it costs more money and it requires a new iPhone. Yes. Um, whereas the Peloton Guide, it's less expensive, uh, a bit more beginner friendly in that it doesn't require any additional hardware outside of your television. Um, and if you already own another Peloton product and you have an all access membership, um, then you can just use that membership with this product. That's where it's going to be really compelling is for the existing Peloton members. Those, those bike and tread members who are already paying that $39 a month for the all access membership, you're not going to have to pay any more membership fees to use the guide. Um, you just pay the hardware cost, that $295. You connect it to your TV and then you have this elevated strength training experience. Um, okay, so that is the Peloton Guide, uh, $295. We gave it four stars. Our full review is up on PCMag.com. Check it out. Uh, we have lots of in-depth information, photos, all of Angela's great testing info. Um, and we will see you again next time on One Cool Thing. Thank you.